Dawson Reynolds. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. This is just going to be a video where I speculate on which Sentai could be adapted for the upcoming Power Rangers 30th anniversary, which as of this moment has the working title Cosmic Fury. I did a video the other day where I talked about this briefly about the title and some of the Sentais it could be, and as of this recording we still don't know which one it could be. Like I said, we have the title Cosmic Fury. It's possible that's a working title and that it could change, kind of like Dino Knights was the working title for Dino Fury. And I get a feeling it will be some sort of indicator of the theme with the word cosmic in there, but maybe the word fury is just a placeholder because they just use it and it'll end up being something else. But we can use the name to sort of speculate in addition to use the Sentai we haven't used to speculate. I mean, technically speaking, we know very little. There's been two rumors so far. One of them was Juodra, one of them was Zenkaiger with some original stuff. But outside of that, it could be anything. I mean, for all we know, it could be a pre G Ranger Sentai team. I highly doubt that's the case, but it's not necessarily off the table. Again, I'm not saying that because it's a real option, but Power Rangers has really thrown some curveballs lately. I mean, could it be something, first of all, completely original? I'm going to be honest, I don't think so. I think that there's a very strong chance whatever we adapt um, and whatever mix, we will get some original suits for the anniversary season. That's just my personal feeling. But I don't think it'll be wholly original. I think that they're going to save a full 100% original for the main reboot show. But I do think we will see at least one original suit for this series. Now, other options as far as ones we haven't adapted. Tokyuger. Tokyuger is probably the least likely only because, you know, you probably could fit it in Cosmic Trains in a cool way but it just doesn't fit the name so much, not to mention both Hasbro and Saban Bandai have gone, out of, have gone out of their way to say that the trains aren't adaptable. Like, even when you're not asking them about it, you're like, oh, how's it going today, sir? Trains don't work! Like, we get it, you don't want to do it. I still think that's a bunch of BS. I think it could totally work if done in the right hands. I find it funny that they skipped over Tokyuger because they thought it was so adaptable to do Ninja, which didn't do that well, well financially, but they thought, oh, ninjas will do well. How that turned out. I don't think it'll be Tokyuger. I'd never say never, um, because like I said, Power Rangers has thrown some curveballs, but I just want to say I do personally think they could make it work if they wanted to for an adaption. Yes, trains are not as popular here as they are in Japan, both in terms of like a cultural thing and for kids, but it is something that kids do like, and I think if you had the right team on it, and you marketed maybe the Reshes as like a little Hot Wheel gimmick, it could do well. Then you have Juoger, which was actually our first rumor um, when we found out we might get at least one more traditional Sentai adaption before the reboot. There was a rumor they were looking at Juoger. I don't think it's impossible. Again, I think that's super viable. I would put it as medium possible only because that rumor was out there and you could do something about like cosmic cubes or something and I really think the mecha gimmick if presented right could do really well here. I would say that's like medium possible. Just based off of the name and the anniversary aspects I don't necessarily personally think that'll be it but I wouldn't say it's impossible. And one that a lot of people are talking about given the cosmic name and the space nature of it um, is Q Ranger which is another one lots of people have wanted adapted. That is another one, uh, I think there's three on this list that they've specifically commented on, over, at least over the years, that they probably wouldn't do. And both Simon Bennett and I think Hasbro themselves said they wouldn't do it because it's too large of a cast. And something about like the Yellow Ranger's helmet, I don't know. I would also put it as, me as medium possible only because, again, I don't think anything's impossible. I think that even though there is a large amount of cast, if you're doing an anniversary thing, you could populate the characters with both veteran rangers and new rangers and you could have something like billy as the purple mentor or something like that um, and back back in the day bandai did have a little bit more input bandai of america had a little bit more input in the design so at one point i think it was going to be an adaption it just didn't end up happening i think the fact that they have directly addressed it something they wouldn't do means that it's a little bit less likely, but I wouldn't say it's impossible, and it could fit the theme well if the cosmic thing has any indicator on it. Lupat, I find to be extraordinarily unlikely, just based on the name alone. I feel like if anyone was ever to do a series for this, the name would be more unique. I just don't think it fits it. Um, it's been said that they wouldn't do it both because of like political reasons, because of the cop rangers, and because the rangers can't be thieves. Like, that's never happened before, forever. Rangers have never been thieves. Um, I, again, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Lupat is unadaptable. I did a video on how I would adapt it. I'll link it here somewhere. I, I can see why it's a little bit more of an uphill battle for them, but it's like, just don't make the Pat Rangers cops. Like, I know that they have really strong police imagery that's harder to ignore than some others, but we ignored the pirate theme in Gokaiger, as much as purists hate that. I mean, the dino theme was basically irrelevant in MMPR. It would be an uphill battle, and I don't see them doing it for a last season but I don't think it's impossible. But setting aside the reasons they gave for why it's not happening, I just don't see it 
being the season they use, regardless of anything that's already been said. Then you have Kara Major, which honestly I think could work. I think the look and feel of the suits and the Zords would fit the name Cosmic Fury or something cosmic, and I honestly wouldn't mind it at all because I really like the designs for Kara Major, and I really liked Kara Major period, so it would be cool to get some figures and stuff for it. Um, so I don't think it's impossible. I think it would be a fairly easy one to do. The only reason I don't feel like it would be, is just a personal reason, is that it feels like, even though I personally really like it, just trying to look at look at it from their point of view, it doesn't seem like it would be the most exciting option for a 30th anniversary miniseries. I would think Q-Ranger or even stuff from Zenkaiger would be much easier to jump to for anniversary elements, whereas this is just much more standard. But if they do something original, again, this is why I want to stop doing Sentai, even this is putting me in a box of what we can and can't do because of the Sentai. Like, I'm already thinking, like, well, Kara Major, like, but if you could do Kara Major and you could add elements from Zenkai Jiren, who knows? That's, again, that's why I want to get out of Sentai, because I'm tired of even thinking within the Sentai box. I want to break out of this box of that. But it's not impossible. I just wouldn't find it likely because I think it would be easier to do an anniversary series with other things, especially if they're just trying to do a sort of quote-unquote quick anniversary series. Which brings us to Zenkaiger, which was the most recent rumor. Before we got the working title and the fact that they're going to be filming soon and working on a morphing sequence, there was a rumor that we were going to be doing a sort of Zenkaiger adaption, that we would be get, we would be getting returning characters including Billy, that it would incorporate some original suits with it. I would find this actually decently likely, despite how um, weird Zenkaiger is on its own for a potential Power Rangers series because it is an anniversary series and it would be a mini series and they don't have to adapt everything. I think if they actually added some original stuff it would be pretty likely. You could add some original regular Ranger suits, you could make use of the Kikanoids which are all based off of previous Power Ranger seasons and of course stuff like the Q-Rex Dragonzord hybrid. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The Q-Rex did eat the Dragonzord for lunch. And, like, I know it seems weird, but I think if they, it's only a miniseries, they incorporate their own original stuff, I think it would actually work fairly well, despite how zany Zenkaiger looks. And I think that's, in a way, one of the most likely things. Don Brothers is technically an option. I don't see it happening. I actually don't think it would be impossible to adapt it, because despite, like, the weird CGI-ness, it's actually fairly normal-looking, and I think could pass fairly well here for PR. And outside of a couple designs from stuff like Tokyo, you know, that also has legacy designs of stuff we've used before and it could work for anniversary elements. I think the mecha look really cool. Some people have pointed out, well, you know, Don Brothers is still airing so they wouldn't use it. But I would like to remind you that back in the day, before we skipped, before the Dark Times, before the Neo Saban era, not that skipping is the Dark Times, but just before the Dark Times was Neo Saban. But anyway, before the Dark Times, we used to start adapting and writing the Power Rangers series while the Sentai was still airing, so they kind of had to make up for it as we go. There's that pretty famous story about the fact that at one point during Dino Thunder's production, they thought Aubrey Max was a new Ranger and started to make plans for that, but then they found out, oh, it's a power-up. So, it's not impossible. Again, I wouldn't say it's very likely, but I wouldn't throw it off the table. I would say that the last option to discuss real quick would be a hybrid. I honestly would love that if there was some sort of weird hybrid element. Like I mentioned, thinking about just Kara Major by itself, I wouldn't think it would be that exciting of an option for them for an anniversary. But they could totally use those as the base suits and somehow bring in some Zenkaiger stuff. And I think it would be really cool to see them do something really creative that might mismatch some elements from the various Sentai we've skipped. Even if it's using a couple different Ranger suits or just some villain suits. Kind of like how we have some Tokyo villain suits in both Ninja Steel and Ryu Soldier. So I would love to see something creative like that. It's exciting right now that we don't know a lot and it's fun to wild speculate. I honestly think it's going to be something rather generic. Not just generic bad, but I think that there's lots of really cool fan ideas for adaptions and what we could use out there, but I think it's not going to be as exciting or creative as we think and I think we should temper our expectations. But as of right now, it's kind of fun to speculate what Sentai we might use and what from each Sentai we might use and all that. But what do you guys think? What would you like to get seen, used? Would you like to see a mix, one individual one, something entirely new, some mix of all that? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get the notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.